Do you ever feel like you're spinning your wheels, working hard but not making progress? What if there was one thing you could do that would make all the difference? In this video, we'll tell you what that one thing is and how it can transform your life. Welcome back to One Step Forward, the channel where we believe that every page you read is one step forward towards a better you. Today I'm going to tell you about a book that can help you do just that. It's called The One Thing by Gary Keller and Jay Papazin, and in this video, we're going to explore its main ideas and takeaways. The One Thing is all about figuring out what your one thing is, that one thing that will make everything else easier or unnecessary. Once you've identified your one thing, the book provides you with all the tools you need to stay focused on it and achieve it. But what does it really mean to focus on one thing at a time? The main idea behind the one thing is that our brains are wired to work best when we focus on one thing at a time. When we try to multitask or juggle too many things at once, our brains get overwhelmed and we end up being less productive overall. So, by focusing on one thing at a time, we're actually able to get more done in less time. The One Thing takes this concept even further by teaching you how to identify your one thing, that one thing that will make everything else easier or unnecessary. By focusing on your one thing, you'll be able to achieve your goals more efficiently and effectively than ever before. However, as we all know, this is easier said than done. That's why the one thing breaks it down into manageable steps so that you can start implementing this powerful concept into your life immediately. So, what are some key takeaways from the one thing? Here are a few. Takeaway 1. Focusing on one thing can make you a superhero. Maybe not a superhero, but it can certainly make you feel like one. When you focus on one thing at a time, you're able to give it your full attention and energy, which can lead to some pretty amazing results. Instead of trying to juggle a million things at once, hone in on the one task that will make the biggest impact and tackle it like a champ. You'll be amazed at what you can achieve when you focus your efforts. Takeaway 2. Don't let distractions derail your focus. Let's face it, distractions are everywhere. Whether it's your phone, your email, your kids, your pets, or your own wandering thoughts, it can be tough to stay focused on your one thing. But the key is to eliminate as many distractions as possible and create a dedicated space for working on your one thing. Maybe that means putting on noise-canceling headphones, turning off your phone, or locking yourself in a closet, okay, maybe not that last one. Whatever it takes, do it. Your one thing deserves your undivided attention. Takeaway 3. Time block like a boss. Time blocking is like having your own personal productivity coach. By scheduling specific blocks of time for your one thing, you're able to create a sense of structure and accountability that can keep you on track and motivated. Maybe you start your day with a two-hour block of time for your one thing or maybe you break it up into smaller chunks throughout the day. Whatever your schedule looks like, make sure you're protecting that time like it's the last piece of pizza at a party. Your one thing is worth it. Takeaway 4. Be okay with saying no. Saying no can be tough, especially if you're used to saying yes to every request that comes your way. But the truth is, Saying no is a skill that can help you protect your time and energy and focus on what really matters. Maybe you have to turn down a social invitation, say no to a new project at work, or decline a request for help from a friend. It's not always easy, but it's worth it in the end. Remember, you're not saying no to people, you're saying yes to your one thing. And that's pretty darn awesome. So why should you read the one thing? Here are just a few reasons. Benefit 1. Get more done with less stress. When you focus on one thing at a time, you're able to put all your energy and attention into that task, which can help you get it done faster and more efficiently. And when you're not constantly juggling multiple tasks and distractions, you'll likely experience less stress and anxiety. So, 
if you want to get more done without feeling like you're about to pull your hair out. Try focusing on your one thing. Benefit 2. Make better decisions with clarity and purpose. When you have a clear goal and focus on your one thing, you're able to make decisions more easily and confidently. You'll be able to prioritize your tasks, weigh your options, and make choices that align with your overall vision and purpose. It's like having a roadmap for your life, and it can help you navigate even the toughest decisions with ease. Benefit 3. Achieve your goals faster than ever before. By focusing on your one thing and eliminating distractions, you're able to make steady progress towards your goals. And when you make progress consistently, you're able to achieve your goals faster than you might have thought possible. So, if you want to reach your goals at lightning speed, try focusing on your one thing and see what happens. Benefit 4. Experience more satisfaction and fulfillment in your life. When you focus on your one thing and make progress towards your goals, you'll likely feel a sense of satisfaction and fulfillment that can be hard to find in other areas of your life. Whether your one thing is related to work, personal development, or relationships, you'll feel a sense of pride and accomplishment when you make progress. And that feeling of satisfaction can spill over into other areas of your life, making you feel more content and fulfilled overall. If you want to feel like a rock star in every area of your life, try focusing on your one thing and see where it takes you. Remember, if you want to make progress towards your goals and live your best life, it's all about focus. Focus on your one thing. Eliminate distractions. Time block like a boss. And don't be afraid to say no. And if you want to learn more about the one thing and how to apply its principles to your life, be sure to check out the book itself, as well as the One Thing podcast and website. That's it for today. I hope you enjoyed this video about the one thing and learned something new. If you did, be sure to give this video a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button so you never miss a new video. And if you've already read the one thing, I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments below. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Take one step forward and enjoy the journey of learning.